Hello everyone, I'm Duke James. This is a continuation of my Genoa campaign, EU4, Mew, and Texas. So at the end of the last part, there was a OBS crash, which is interesting. So I've had a Mew and Texas crash, an OBS crash, and now my, well, my, and then my computer crash as well. So that's three different kinds of crashes in this campaign, which is very interesting because it never really happens. Hopefully that stuff gets, uh, settled. Mew and Texas hasn't crashed in a while, though, so that's nice. As you can see, I'm in a war against Austria. This is Milan's war. It is a humiliation war. So I'll help them fight this war. I broke my alliance with Savoy and allied Cirrus, because I'm going to try to vassalize them. And then, as I said before, I believe I'm going to try to give them as much territory over here as I can. They'll probably be able to, uh, get, like, a rough shape of Greece. This is kind of like a... Greece-ish. And they're blue. So that's kind of like Greece. Except I'm not giving them my territories, so... They'll get all of the uh, non-trade modifier provinces in this area. Uh, spring uh, has arrived. In real life, not in the game. It's nice. It's not cold anymore and there's no more snow. Birds are chirping. Let them loot. Split them in half. Not really fighting anybody uh, very powerful. I think I'll go up here and try to uh, take out Lorraine. The trade ships that it built are here. Let's combine all those guys. They're all running away. They're running away from the mighty Genoa. I broke my alliance with uh, Savoy and Montferrat immediately jumps on them. Interesting. Uh, my money's on Savoy. Montferrat's gonna die. Fifty light ships. Fifty light ships protecting trade in the Terranium. I'm gonna build up Nice because that is in the uh, Terranium node, so that's a good province to build up. I'll wait a little bit before uh, actually building anything, though. Get a little bit more of a cash stack going. Somebody's dogs barking. I think that's a dachshund. A little wiener dog. Making 40 ducats almost. 71 ducats trade. Wait a minute, what was that? Recover Castilian? <laughs> Castile is doing a Recover Castilian Provinces CB. Oh, it's against Granada. Yeah, they get that from the beginning. I thought it was over here. That makes sense.
I don't want to spend too much time in this war. I'm going to get a ton of war exhaustion, and then there's not much benefit. The only good thing is I'm not really doing much until I uh, colonize in seven-ish years. Eight, six, seven years. So, there's that ever a time to fight this war. Now is probably a good time. I'll be a good ally and help help Milan. With Ceres, I'll get really close to 190. I'll have to figure something out to get that extra... Probably subsidies. Just subsidize them. Doing claims in Ragusa and Naples. close my window. Don't know if that dog was on camera, but uh, on the recording. It's gone now. It should be, at least. So we'll take out Lorraine for them. Hopefully they uh, peace out. It is a humiliate war, so they need to go to Ostmark, which it looks like they're going to slowly siege their way over there. Just go directly for it, Milan. Took that province. That province, they're down here. It's Fueme. They shouldn't be able to take anything else. Maybe an Fplion, if they can get there. This one. Yeah, so firing your advisor and rehiring your advisor works great. Except that if they die, I think somebody has to die. Which is weird because somebody just takes their place. Naples. It's conquering stuff. Oh yeah, they took this province. Forgot I even had that province. There's enough troops down there to do sieges, so... I'll send some troops down there. Alright, Lorraine is gone. They give them war reps. Pays 40 ducats, I get 10 ducats. You're welcome, Milan. Mm -hmm. 
Switzerland is expanding. They took these two provinces. And this province, this province. That's a big Switzerland. Someone said that Switzerland always dies, but it's pretty big Switzerland. In my uh, Russia campaign, Switzerland's also big. Let's leave half the troops here. Protect these uh, territories down here. Don't want to lose these. The other ones are acceptable losses. These, a little bit more important. I'll get to a 184 relations with um, Cirrus. Still lost another province over here. Move these troops up here, maybe I can head them off. Roman territories declared war on papal states. Man, this uh, this campaign is max chaos. How many wars in Europe are going on? Because I can see like five of them. So a lot of wars here, but I think a lot of these aren't in Europe. Roman War for Independence, that seems heavily tilted for the uh, Roman territories. Naples, Muscovy, Montferrat, Milanese, Castilian. Pretty much all the wars happening in Europe are the ones that I can see right now, which is weird. Hmm. How does Trieste have 6,000 troops? They are tech 19, so they're the same tech. Imagine since they're one province, their development level is eight. Yeah, they have better discipline than me. So I don't want to fight unless I'm forced to. Milan is on Ostmark. They should be taking that. They have no debts. I think the only thing I can really do is give subsidies. I don't think knowledge sharing does anything. Let's do that anyway.
Send these troops up north. Hey, we got out of it. Okay. Austria gives them ducats. We get 37 ducats. It says they owe us 13 favors. I don't believe that, though. I think it was one favor. If they actually gave me how many favors they said, those screens said that they would give me, I would have 100, 100 favors with them, because I haven't really spent any. Let's do the claim on Naples. some subsidies their way. They should want to uh, become my vassal. claims do they have? They don't have many claims. Might as well uh, immediately attack these guys for them. Athens has become a vassal of Naples. Do a claim on that province. guys up, bring them over. So I have enough monarch points to uh, potentially start colonizing. Unless I've made some uh, grave mistake. Some colossal mess mess up. Where I can't actually colonize at 20 tech, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Let's throw a diplomat on our each countries. I have three free ones. guy is 34 years old. I have 100 Republican tradition. There's not much reason not to keep him. One month should do it. They should become my vassal. I'll have my first vassal of the game. For vassalization. There we go. How could they resist? They can't. I have my first vassal. I think what I'll do is uh, let's 
focus on expanding their territory. Do I have a claim on? Okay, I do have a claim on uh, the Ottomans, so I could fight them and give these territories to Ceres. That'll happen in the future. For now, I will end this part here and then uh, pick it up then. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.